If you can see everything that's laid out in front of me, we've got the full Armorlite flooring kit for my brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler. Now, Armorlite was gracious enough to hook us up with two kits, and you guys have probably already watched me installing Ryan's Desert Tan Kit into his two-door. We're doing both of these on the same day, but we're gonna separate them into two videos. That way, in case you have a two-door or a four-door, you can watch them according to what you like and also check out what both of the colors look like. And the cool thing is, is that they've already got it designed to work for the 2024 Wrangler. Now, Armorlite is gonna completely replace place all of the carpet in the Jeep. I will not need any more floor mats and I'm going to have a completely waterproof flooring. Well guys, we're here out in the Jeep. Obviously you can see we've got all of the seats removed. So we did that preemptively. It's four bolts on the front, four T50 Torx bolts on the front, 18 millimeter bolts and a couple nuts on the back here. We figured we would remove it just because it's a lot easier for us to demonstrate what we're installing here. We just did it on Ryan's Jeep and this is part two. So this is the second video that we're gonna be doing. So we do have the doors removed. You're gonna wanna disconnect your door harness connection by using a trim removal tool to pop it off just like so and maybe you'll break it i didn't break it holy heck ryan i didn't break it normally i do so we'll pop that off and there's a 10 millimeter small nut right here that we're going to jump off on each side and i like to set everything in the cup holder that way i don't lose it so once you have those two removed we're going to go ahead and get this panel off i am wearing gloves a lot of people like to give me grief but you want to get a good grip on this stuff when you're pulling it off and it's really sharp too ryan ryan has seen me cut my hands so many times on these jeeps that it's almost it's almost not funny at this point i mean it's kind of a little funny but it's not very funny another thing we notice on the first install these little white tabs here these are going to pop off the backside. so just when they stick on the jeep just go ahead and pop them off with the trim removal tool and put them back on to the panel we can remove this small cap that is covering our seatbelt connection and get this pulled off. So we're gonna get this pulled off and we'll kind of work our way. We're gonna get the whole B pillar cover off. Let's pull that out too. It's a little bit bigger than yours here, Ryan, this part. Yeah, cause we, I have to go back to another seat or another entrance, a door entrance. Right, so once you have this disconnected, You'll pop your seatbelt out from down here. There's a nice little slot. So the next thing you're gonna pop off are the center console covers. Now there's one over here and one over on this side. And uh, all you gotta do is use your trim little trim removal tool. Pop those off. And then behind them is a 10 millimeter bolt on either side. You wanna remove that, set them into there. And you're gonna repeat the process on the other side. Pretty free, yep, that's all we wanted. Okay, Rye, now we can pull off the carpet. So all this wiring went above the rear carpet, see that? Just remind me it went all above it. The only thing we are gonna need to steal is this extended standoff, and then we'll steal this one too. And uh, yeah, look, I never even I never even removed my yeah, drain plug have thing because why I didn't have all weather floor mats in this thing. How sad is that, Rye? It didn't come with them, right? It didn't come with them, no? All right, guys, so now we can pull over off the driver's side. This one has a bit more of the push pins. This one you've gotta kinda like work work your way out there we go see that and then those big ones those two big ones here will transfer over and the kit includes these smaller ones so we don't need to worry about that so we do have to do a little bit underneath here the one thing we are going to do is we're going to remove these little studs that are on top of these threaded inserts the armor light is designed to go over the studs but not these big ones so we're going to take these off using a 16 millimeter socket and they do not need reinstalled. The other thing we've got to do is pull out our factory drain plug. We do not need to use this one again, but it doesn't help. It doesn't hurt just to set it aside somewhere. We're not going to use it with the armor like kit, but who knows in the future. So we got that removed. We're going to do the same on the other side and then get this, get the rest of the carpet pulled out. 
See, it even says hot right here, Ryan. It says hot to the touch for the transmission tunnel, so that's why we're putting the armor light in. This does have sound deadening as well as thermal reduction properties, so that's gonna be really neat to have that in here. Quiet down the Jeep, make it a little bit cooler inside in the summer, and hopefully a little bit warmer in the winter because PA gets pretty cold, so that'll be really nice to have. Pull this all out. We don't need any of this junk. Gosh, look at all this crap. I'm pretty sure my son has spilled everything on this carpet. So this one has two here. I'm not sure. I didn't read the instructions too well. I probably should a little bit better, but I'm going to pull these off. There's one here and one there. This one, I know on the back, they get the little small clip. So that gets that whole clip in there. But yeah, these, this one didn't need it. So that's fine. Just like that. We'll pull these two off. And then these drain plugs right here. Also, we do not need those. So we can put our, eh, our armor lights. That way we can drain. My boys sit, are gonna sit back here. One of them already does, and I'm just gonna be able to wash and hose it. Hose it right off, Ryan. All right, guys, so we've got the cargo cover pulled out. Now we've just gotta remove these here. With a T40 and a small little trim removal tool. So we're just gonna pull these off so we can get this panel off. Because we do need to put the armor light right here so this carpet will be removed. We're just gonna pull these off. Now we can kind of pull some of this stuff off. I don't think, I think we'll be able to get underneath that with the new armor light. We don't need to rip it apart, but we do need to go right around the Right, see all that dust flying out of here? That's gonna be so nice. Cause when you take the top and doors off with the armor light, there's not dust. It like doesn't have anywhere to stick. Yeah. And I have two dogs. You guys saw the German Shepherd and the Australian Shepherd's just as hairy. So. Oh God, I hit your 18 gallon liter of water. A wee little bit of carpet over here that goes underneath my Alpine subwoofer. Look at that, aww. That's so cute, look at that. I just wanted to tell you guys also the wiring over here on that side of Jeep Ryan, what was that What was that wiring held down by right there? Um, was it a uh, masking tape? I just rolled up masking tape and it was holding down that wire over there. And there was another just piece like laying right here. You can actually see there's the last, the, there's a little bit of it underneath there. At least your Jeep is kept together pretty well. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's held together by masking tape, so. Love it. So while we have everything kind of ripped apart, we're just gonna clean it up a little bit while we have access to it. And uh, yeah, that way we can clean it up and keep it nice underneath here. I don't know what I just caught in my throat, probably a bug flying by, but uh, <clears throat> we're just gonna use some quick detailer, clean it up and keep on moving. All right, so now it's time to put in our passenger side. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the side that says R, R means passenger. We're just gonna slide it into place here. Now, the mine has been sitting out in the sun for a lot longer than Ryan's, which in a sense you'd think that means it's easier. But what I've learned is one thing is the, this side over here is a bit trickier to get down. So we've got to kind of, kind of persuade it into place a little bit. All right, so this is going to tuck under here. We've got a little bit to go forward. This needs to get tucked under there somehow. So after you get the passenger side in, you're gonna go ahead and put these plugs in. Now what these plugs do is they use it to align the actual carpeting or the, the waterproof flooring now. So we're gonna get this in and just tap it with the back of our hammer. You wanna make sure that the top of this is perfectly aligned with the drain hole. If not, you've done something wrong, you need to keep adjusting, but ours is pretty much aligned. I'm just gonna adjust it just a little bit more. It does help have it out in the sun, but then we're gonna get this, put it right inside like so. And it should fall in pretty easily. It's not like a crazy thing to put it in. Just tap it with the back of the hammer. And if it's not aligned, it'll tell you. When you're installing these, read the instructions too to make sure that you don't like mash the gas pedal and then go to start it and it's like, what that, that, that. You wanna make sure that these tuck nicely under the set console and pulled up under here. It does say that you can do this install with two people. In our case, we're doing it with one person and videoing. and videoing it. And then Ryan also has to reach out his hand 
to help. All right, so this has to get tucked up under here like so. So I'll get that side kind of tucked, work our way over to the driver's side. If you know, take your top off and chill. Do this for a little while, right, Ryan? It's been a nice sunny day and just do it. You know, I'm gonna snap that in just to, and then our passenger, oh, these are gonna be fun. <laughs> so we took our whole rear seat out, but it should be okay. So they have slots, see that? So we can slot, we can slot it right in. So once you have this one into place, this is a lot easier to kind of maneuver. We're gonna get our, uh, our armor light drain plugs installed. They sell these in different colors. I think I should have got red, Ryan. I think red would have been cool. All right, so first, tuck your seatbelt through. A little gap. Now mine has a subwoofer because I actually like music. Ryan hates music. He actually hates anything that sounds good. So he decided to get no subwoofer. No, I'm kidding. But when you order this, make sure that you pick the right one. If you have a subwoofer or not, you gotta, you gotta choose. Okay, we're good on all angles. Does it look good all around the edges too? Yeah, this will just come back, just and wrap. See, right around there like that? No, but yeah, we gotta put these pieces back in here. All right, now with that installed, get this piece clipped back in. So this does go back on, but we gotta cover for this too. Look at that. Oh, that like kind of sticks. It's like almost a Velcro. Something like that. All right, guys, so we put the filler piece in here. I believe this goes below. Hopefully, Kale over at Armor Light can correct me. This might have to go above, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna tuck it below here for right now. And we gotta get the seat bolted back in and then we'll see how it looks. If anything, this is pretty easy. Once we get the seat bolted back in, we can just swap it out. But yeah, that's pretty much it, Ryan. We just gotta put the plastics back in and then just one big thing of put the seats back in. Good it looks good. Yeah, it'll look good with all the trim pieces back on. So we'll uh, we'll get the trim pieces back on and then bolt back the center console and get the seats in. On today's viewer regular video, we are checking out JT Mojave's Jeep Gladiator Mojave Edition. And let's just say this thing is fully built. We've got what looks to be a set of 40s or 42 inch tires on a beautiful Stingray Mojave with just about every mod that you can think of. I can see some billet front tow links, some more a worn winch on here, Fox 3.0 reservoir shocks, full long arm suspension, bed rack, awning, really the list goes on and on. And the accent color is that beautiful kind of high velocity or high, high impact orange, I would say on this Jeep. Now he said he had a lot of the work done by Jeep Conversion Solutions down in Miami, which we actually got a chance to meet those guys when we were in Daytona and they're absolutely awesome to work with and they pump out some really cool builds. But we wanted to say thank you for submitting this rig and we actually had a chance to see it down in Daytona. So really cool to see it on our channel. And if you guys wanna have a chance at your rig being featured, be sure to hit us up through Instagram or send us an email. Well guys, we just wrapped up the install of the Armorlite four door complete kit with the cargo enclosure. Honestly, we just did Ryan's too. We're super happy with the way that these are turning out. They look fantastic and they're gonna really protect the way that these Jeeps perform. You know, I've got full waterproof flooring now and that's gonna work so much better than that original carpet. With this, you don't put any floor mats on top of it. So you just run it the way it is and you can clean it off. There's an Adams polish that makes one or it's chemical guys. We'll order a couple of them. And after you spray it out, you just wipe it, wipe it clean and it's good to go. This is not gonna attract any dog hair. I've got two dogs, this is gonna be fantastic. And we'll do a long-term review. We'll use it all show season, see how it performs. And then also see how it does at the beach, see how it does wheeling. But until next time, this was a fun install. Huge shout out to Armor Life for sending us this and hooking both of our Jeeps up. My name's Matt and that's Ryan behind the camera. And we want you to get out there and earn yours.